Welcome back, friends. Uh, so glad you are here. It is time for our weekly grocery haul and meal plan uh, with a little nutrition check-in too. So this is the Thrifty Food Plan channel where you can find frugal food budgets, grocery hauls, and meal plans using the USDA Thrifty Food Plan, which is the federal government's basis for SNAP benefits, what we used to call food stamps. So if you like what you see here, please hit that like button and please subscribe. So based on the USDA Thrifty Food Plan, my weekly allotment uh, kind of starts for me as a 51 to 70 year old woman at $51.10. This is based on the August plan that was just released by the USDA. Because I am a one person household, footnote three also says we should add 20%. So my maximum total allowable food spend for this week is $61.32. Before I even go to the grocery store though, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in my pantry, fridge and freezer and figure out what I already have that I can use. All right, these are some of the pantry, freezer, fridge items I'm gonna try to use up this week. I have three potatoes left. I have one sweet potato, got some rice, tortillas. I have this jar of enchilada sauce. Um, not sure when I bought that, but it's in the pantry, so I'm gonna use it up. Oh, broccoli, still have broccoli. Gonna eat some broccoli this week. You might remember a couple weeks ago, I got a really good deal on nut thins. So I've got this box and a couple more. I have frozen bananas, I have some frozen fruit left over, and then this is two servings of chili um, from the chili that I made the other week that I froze. So these are some of the freezer, fridge, pantry items I'm going to use up this week, try to keep my costs down. All right, so let's take a look at what we got at the grocery store this week. <clears throat> One English cucumber, carrots, green onions, regular onion, lime, avocado, bananas, always some greens, some squash, some peppers. My big fruit of the week um, are these clementines. They were a digital deal. Also got a pineapple for fruit this week. Can't remember if I said peppers part of my veg. I got some vegan junk food, everybody. Pretty excited about that. Tofu, my non-vegan piece of chocolate. I had ordered a different kind that had less milk in it, but they were out. They actually had a really good deal on Cafe Visteo this week. Um, so I went ahead and bought this at the grocery store. It was like $2.50 pretty good deal cheaper than what I could probably get on Amazon some soy milk some half and half again an exception to my vegan rule coffee in the morning needed some more oats got a little bit of seltzer water and I got some great northern beans some black beans chickpeas also was completely out of canned tomatoes. So I got two jars of crushed and two jars of diced or cans, I guess. So this is everything that I got at the grocery store this week. So that shop ended up being $46, which is $1 more than I thought, which is why the labeling on the video was wrong. So $46 total um, came up a little higher just because of how much some of the produce cost when it was weighed. Um, <clears throat> and my maximum allowable food spend was $61.32, which means that we did come in under budget by $15.32, which is exciting. So one of the things that I love about the USDA Thrifty Food Plan is that it also 
advises us about how we should spend our money on groceries to increase the likelihood that we are getting enough nutrition. Because the Thrifty Food Plan from USDA is supposed to be the cheapest way to eat a healthy diet. And so they provide sort of these percentages to sort of guide us on how much money we should be spending in each category. And the truth is my spending is a little off, partially because I'm usually a whole food plant-based vegan with some exceptions. Um, and so I tend to spend more on fruits and vegetables and less on protein foods. But let's see sort of how this played out for me this go round. So I ended up spending 19% on quote unquote dairy. And that really is because I splurged on that vegan junk food faux cheese. Um, that stuff was expensive, but I'm excited to have it. My proteins came in well under estimate, and that's because I bought canned beans and tofu, super cheap. Uh, grains, the only grain that I bought was oats. And if you watched um, sort of the nutritional video I did, clearly I'm not spending enough on grains. And so I need to think about how I can incorporate more grains into my diet. Spent 19% on fruits, spent 32% on veggies. Again, this is not a surprise as a whole food plant-based vegan. And once again, like another improvement area for me, in addition to needing to eat more grains, I'm spending too much in the miscellaneous items. So between coffee, chocolate, and seltzer, 16% um, went to miscellaneous items. So that's an area of improvement for me. So as we look ahead to the meal plan for the week, um, we've got many options across all of the things. So for breakfast, I can have oats, I can have smoothies, I could have tofu scramble, I'm gonna have my coffee. Snacks, fruit is the go-to, but also uh, can make some homemade hummus. I'll link that recipe down below. I've got a couple of potatoes left over so I could do some homemade air, fry, air fries and serve those up with ketchup for snack. Lunches, I'll have big salad. I'll have that leftover chili I pulled out of the freezer. Got my chocolate for my after lunch treat. Dinner options, um, I'm craving sort of this vegan enchilada bake. Uh, I found that enchilada sauce I pulled out of the pantry. Also can make some sweet potato bowls with broccoli and tofu with a homemade peanut sauce. Can do a vegetable stir fry with some of that rice from the pantry, use up that squash, onions, peppers, more tofu. And if I need a little sweet treat, I've got the stuff to make banana ice cream. I can make it chocolate flavored or vanilla flavored with what I have in the pantry. So this is the meal plan for this week based on the pantry items that I already had and some of the items that I purchased at the grocery store this week. So thanks so much for visiting Thrifty Food Plan. Please do hit that like button and hit that subscribe button trying to get more eyes on this channel. And we hope to see you again next Thursday. Thanks so much for visiting.